All right, so it's Sunday, and this is a really fast tutorial, a tip. The Sunday morning trading tip, a little trick I just discovered this last weekend on Thinkorswim. And this video is going out to my friend, Jeff. Jeff, this is for you. We were actually talking just this last week about how it was a bummer that Thinkorswim wouldn't allow us to do what I'm about to show you. And that's just my fault. I think I had told him that. And well, it turns out I'm wrong. This is actually a function that you can do. So a couple weeks back, I did a video on Thinkorswim function called On Demand. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. Check that out. That really goes into kind of more depth than this one will, how to use On Demand. This is more about just a little discovery I made a little fix that I thought it wasn't able to do, but it actually is. So in case you didn't know, there's this great tool inside of Thinkorswim that allows you to go back in time, uh, basically use the entire platform just as you would normally do it, but back in time. You can go back in time, choose the exact date and time you want to go back to, and it's as if Thinkorswim has recorded every single stock, index, ETF, etc., tick by tick, going back years. I heard like back to 20... I think 2009 maybe or 2011. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, it's super cool. So you basically how you get there is when you open up your Thinkorswim, if you come up here to the top right, you can see this little button here that says on demand. When you put your mouse over it, it turns orange. Click on that. And then this comes up. Just say, okay. So now you're in on demand. So like you're in your, you're in a Thinkorswim platform, but it's not your real account. And you can tell that it's not your real account because up here in the left, it says on demand. And right here it says virtual account. So this is your cue or clue that you're not in your real money account and you can go hog wild and try all the craziest strategies you've ever thought of using fake money. I think when you set it, when you do it the first time, you come up with like the hundred thousand dollars. You might, you may be able to change that. I'm not sure about that. So this is all play money. And so just make sure that it's on demand, that this on demand is on lit up orange and it says virtual account because you wouldn't want to necessarily try these experiments you want to do with your real account and lose all your money. So just come over here and use their money, their play money. So anyway, so once you're inside on demand, you have the ability to go back in time. And right here, you can see this little calendar. So if you click on this, you can see the calendar. Let's go back to, uh, let's just say, let's go back to April, um, like one year ago. One year ago, today's March 3rd, 2024. So let's go back to March 3rd, 2023. So we're going back a year. So you select the date there. And then you can select the time of day. Let's just go back to the market open. I'm in, I'm in California, so the market open for me is at 6.30. So I'll type in 6.30. I'll hit the go button. And up here you can see in the top uh, left it's saying pre-buffering. So I'm thinking that this is just going back through all this data that it has stored, all that stock market recording that it's done over the years, finding that particular date and time and bringing it up. So it takes a few minutes to pre-buffer. And then it turns orange again and then... Uh, here we are. We're back in time. We just went back in time. We went back in time one year. We're now at March 3, 2023, 630 in the morning. And you can look at a chart. Let me just pull up a chart here. It's just as if you're back in time now. You can look at a chart. This is the SPX, what the SPX is doing right now on 3-6-2023. Right here, you can see the date. Put my mouse over the day. You can see that it's 3-3-2023. Today, in actuality, it's 3-3-2024. It's so we're back in time. This is the chart exactly one year ago. And and it's going to be ticking. You can see if this is on a day chart, let's go to like a one minute chart. And then we'll zoom in here and you'll be able to see that thing moving around. So this is one year ago. This is the stock market one year ago, ticking, changing, tick by tick. So you can look at charts. You can come over here and you can place trades. Now this is where it gets really cool. You can come up here to, uh, let's just place a trade. So let's go to add simulated trades. You can see all the option chains from one year ago. This is as if we're back on this date, 3-3-2023. Let's go to uh, March 3, so the zero-day options for that day, one year ago. You can see all this day. Look at all this. This is all here, as if we're just back in time. So let's come down here, and let's, let's just, you know, just for example purposes, let's buy a butterfly. So we'll say buy trade, and we'll say buy butterfly. You can see it just adds it as if it's just this platform is working as it always works, just exactly as it does if it's live. It's just back in time. 
So let's go over, let's uh, look at this butterfly that we just bought. Now let's go over to the risk profile and see if we can see the risk profile. Oh, damn. Darn it. Now this is where I got stuck. So when I did my first video on this several weeks back, this is the exact process I went through when I learned it. And when I, when I came over to the risk graphs, which I love the risk graphs, the risk graphs are visual and it really helps me understand my position. It's kind of like a dashboard. It's like a windshield, looking out the windshield. All my trades and adjustments and tweaks, I base off looking at the risk graphs. So it's super, super helpful, at least for me. And I think probably a lot of others too. But when I first went back in here a couple weeks ago and just familiarized myself with this and learned how to use this, every time I go to the risk graph, the risk profile, it shows the straight flat line which I just assumed, well, maybe that's just too much to ask for. I mean, it's super cool that we can go back in time and do trades and like see how they perform minute by minute. And I wish that I could see a risk graph. That would be ideal, but it's probably too much for the system to be able to do because every time I went to the risk graph, I just showed this pink line. So I just said, nah, it'll do everything else, but it won't show risk graphs. And it's still super useful, but it'd be great if it used risk graphs. Well, this weekend I was doing some tests and playing around with it. And it dawned on me that I was an idiot and the reason why it's not showing the risk graph when it comes over here, which I wish it did, is because the date up here for the risk graph is set at the wrong date. Set in the future. See, this is the date for the risk graph right here. This might be for the risk graph too. I'm not sure. But these dates, both of these dates are at 2-14-2024, like, you know, just two weeks ago. So all we need to do to get the risk graph visible is change this date to the appropriate day that we're looking at, which is 2-3-2023. So we come back in time to 2-3-2023, select that date, and let's do the same thing down here. We'll change this date to the same date, 2-3-2023, a year ago. You gotta go back to that date, and look at that. There we go. Our risk graph is visible. So this is huge for me. And again, some of you may not be impressed out there like, yeah, well, obviously, Dan, but I know I'm an idiot. But I'm okay with being an idiot because all I care about is I figured it out. So check this out. So uh, let's just create a position here. It was just a, you know, a test position. So here's a butterfly bought exactly one year ago at 6.36 in the morning. We can say, let's go ahead and set this trade and send it off for an order. Again, this is all in the past. This isn't real money. This is all just fake play, going back in time, testing. So we'll say create duplicate order. Everything works just like it does as if this were a real live account. We'll confirm and send. You can hear it chime. So if we come over here to the, the monitor tab, you can see that there it is filled. And if we want to set an automatic exit order, like a profit taking order on this trade, we could say analyze opposite trade. Here's the opposite trade to buy it back at. So let's just uncheck that for a minute. So here's the trade we're in back in time. So let's just fast forward here. Now you can, you can hit pause. It's like a tape. You can hit pause or play. You can use this this double arrow here to go three times the speed. So if you look at here, you'll see that it's just every, instead of once every second, it's going three seconds, three second intervals. So it's going one times the speed. You can also skip ahead by 10 minutes by hitting that. You can go back by 10 minutes by hitting that one. You can pause, or you can just come in here and change the date. So let's just stay on the same day. This is a zero day option one year ago. Let's come in here and just change the time. Let's like move forward like, oh, let's say an hour or so. Let's keep going. Let's just go to 8, 8 a.m. So we're just going to move up in time to 8 a.m. We'll hit go. You can see over here on the left, upper left, it's saying pre-buffering. It's finding that data for that time. So here we go. So there's, so now that it says, uh, now it says pause, we can come over here, hit play. If we want, it'll start to tick time at uh, 8 a.m. on March 3, 2023, a year ago. And you can see in that time frame that we just skipped, we're up here now. And we can just set it, we can do a lot of things from here. So we can, we can try, uh, we can just let this sit here. One of the things I like to do with my trades is if I had this butterfly on, like in a real money account, I would just set my mouse over that brown line, which is where the current price is ticking at. I would just leave it there and just watch the position. You, you'll begin to see the P&L of the position with the diagram of the position at the same time, just by hovering your mouse over that line. So you can do that with this. You can, you can uh, do tweaks. Let's just say, let's just add a, a, an adjustment to this. I don't know what I would do. Let's just make something up. Let's just say analyze vertical. You can add this in. 
So basically what this video is about is it's just doing a recap of what I showed about a week ago and how to use this. And I'll leave the link to that in the description. It goes really in depth on how to use this. But at that time, I didn't think that the wrist graft worked. So this weekend I discovered that and that was a big deal for me. So this is great. This is super perfect and ideal. I can go back in time and do tests while building positions and monitoring them with the wrist graft at that time. So again, the key to do that is just when you go back in time, when you choose your date up here, date and time, do you want to go back to, to test? You just also need to make sure that you change these dates to match. You need to go back in time and change it to the exact date and the time you want to go to up here and down here. All right, so that's just a quick little tip for today. Hope this helps. If anyone else out there has some cool tips and tricks on how to use on demand or anything, let me know, write them in the comments or email me, I'll give you a shout out. And if it's a really good one, maybe even a Starbucks card. So again, hope that helps. If you'd like to learn more about this way of trading and all the different strategies that I'm doing, just make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel below and also go over to my website and sign up for my free email newsletter. I'll leave a link to my website in the description below. Go over there, sign up for the free email newsletter when you sign up, you'll get a welcome email from me. Just reply back to that welcome email. Say, hey, introduce yourself. And I'll get back to you and we'll go from there. All right, that's it for this one. See you next time.